we are in New York City and we're gonna show you the fun things you can do here. First, we're gonna take the Roosevelt Island tram to Roosevelt Island. This is the view of Manhattan from Roosevelt Island, and it's not a bad view, but it's also not as great as I had hoped, maybe because it's a cloudy day. I thought that the tram ride had great views, but it was way too crowded. Luckily we had the window, because I'm sure being in the middle would be a miserable experience. Roosevelt Island is kind of small, so I think the main attraction here is this, Franklin D. Roosevelt for Freedom State Park. This memorial has a quote on the bottom, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. We're standing in front of the ruins of a smallpox hospital from the 1800s, and this was the first hospital in the country dedicated to treating smallpox. This is called the Four Freedom State Park because of FDR's four freedoms. Freedom of speech and expression, worship from want and from fear. In the late 1960s, this island was mostly abandoned, so then they wanted to redevelop it and build affordable housing, and when they did that, they decided to name this island after Franklin D. Roosevelt. From the southern part of the island, you can see a bit of the Empire State. If you come here, I recommend taking the tram on a sunny day when the views are the best. And also, I guess the off season will be better. And I enjoyed walking around this island. Even though there's not too much to do, it's pretty peaceful. I do like all the great views that you can get from the island. And the nature here is very beautiful. On to our next stop. We're now at Theodore Roosevelt's birthplace in Manhattan. To go to his residence, you need to go on a guided tour, which is free, but we need to move on, so I don't think we're gonna be able to attend. Here's some pictures of the national parks that Theodore Roosevelt created. There's a song for him, We Want Teddy. Have you heard the people's call? We want Teddy. Shouting loud and louder all. We want Teddy. <laughs> Our next stop is the Merchant's House Museum. When you visit this museum, you can come for a guided tour or a self-guided tour. And basically, the Treadwell family from around the 1830s to 1930s, for almost 100 years, they lived in this house. The house was built in 1832, and then by the 1930s, the last person died, so no one was living here, and then it became a museum. We're in the garden right now, there's brick walls here, and the developer next door wants to make a hotel, but they're afraid that all the shaking is going to cause this foundation to collapse. So there's a petition going on right now to save the museum. We're in the ground floor now, which is also called the basement, and here's the family room. It's very cozy. During the winter time, this was the warmest place to be. And all the furnitures are original. Being a servant must have been hard, because you have to climb up all the floors to get the coal everywhere. All this coal going to all the fireplaces. Whoa, the stairs are so uneven. Since this was a pretty wealthy family, they bought their water from merchants who got clean water from springs outside of the city. But if you weren't that wealthy, then I guess you just had to deal with dirty water. There's so many fireplaces here. A fact from the book is that they didn't burn wood here, they only burned coal so there were no flames. Some believe the Treadwells are still here as ghosts, so they have tours with paranormal investigators and also candlelight ghost tours. The bedrooms often had more than one purpose. For example, they, some of the bedrooms were often sick rooms because in the mid 19th century, <clears throat> there were a lot of diseases going around and then during parties, they would be used as dressing rooms. These are commode chairs, they're basically like toilets, so that's one. And this one is designed as a chest drawer, so that's more polite.
This was the servants' quarters. And in the entire house, at one point, there were 21 people living here because it was a huge family. And that's not even counting the servants. And that is the Merchant's House Museum. I really liked the garden outside because the gardener was telling us all about the different pieces of artwork that he got to do. I enjoy learning about the history of this house and I think it's crazy that this is all original from the 1800s in the middle of busy Manhattan. Now we're taking the Staten Island Ferry. This is the best free way to see the Statue of Liberty. I think if you don't care to see it, you can just stand on the left side of the boat and it's emptier. A pro tip is when you first board, go on the right side so you can see Manhattan and the Statue of Liberty. But like once you get bored of the view, come to the left because it's so empty. We took a bus and it was really crowded. I think all the school children were getting out. It was 10 stops. I, there's no train here. We're at the Staten Island Cultural Center and there are many museums here, but we're, we don't have time to visit them all, unfortunately. Now we are at the Staten Island Museum. At the museum, they have a scavenger hunt that you can do to find different things around the museum. New York is home to the discovery of the first Mastodon remains in 1705. It's like an elephant but with longer tusks and it's furry. The next exhibit is called Taking Care. So basically this gallery is about the black angels of the hospital because the white people didn't want to work at the hospital as nurses since they, there was a risk of catching tuberculosis. So the black woman kind of got the leftover job. This exhibit is called Opening the Treasure Box, Bringing the World Home. This room has a collection of artifacts from all over the world, like from Africa and Asia and other places. This is traditional Japanese footwear. So this is like their version of rain boots or whatever, right? Because it avoids puddles. This is the Altered Book Project, which is about Jewish history and also anti-Semitism. A lot of exhibits at this museum mention ill people or sick people. And then over here it says it's because there was open space and fresh air. So I guess they just sent all the sick people to this island. And that is the Staten Island Museum. Since this is one of the few places we're going to on Staten Island, it was cool to see the history and kind of get an idea of where we are. Because when we got here by ferry and look around, like it's all industrial. Compared to the rest of the boroughs, it's much more quiet here and more nature -y. Uh It doesn't have the excitement of the city life, but I like how quiet it is. I really like how there's a scavenger hunt for kids and at the end you can get um, some prizes. The scavenger hunt brings you all around the museum so you can definitely see everything here. See you in the next video. Bye!